work we're doing at, at University of Miami here is focused on the mahi, and it all starts right here. We cannot do the work without the rootstock. And uh, what we're looking for is, is basically young, young and old animals that are sexually mature, uh, but not too big to handle. The target is to collect one or two males, or bulls as we call them, and then uh, you know a handful of perhaps more cows, the females, bring them in and establish a rootstock. Now, I'd say probably 15 miles offshore of Miami, and we're probably in about 1200 feet of water. And we are looking for signs of, of these mahi. They move around this very vast ocean, they move very fast. And uh, what we're looking for out here is either structure on the surface, so say gas, I mean, big, big patches that will typically hold bait fish. And if there's bait fish, there'll be mahi, so we look for that. And uh, this time of year in particular, we look for birds. Any excitement by, by birds here typically means that there's a school of mahi or other predatory fish that's pushing bait fish to the surface. And so again, that's a telltale sign for us. If we see birds that are kind of excited about something in an area, we'll run right up and, uh, and we'll start fishing that area. What we'll do is we'll either pitch a live bait to these fish or an artificial lure and we'll hook up a fish. And uh, what we're looking for then is to hook that fish but actually retain that fish on the line so that now becomes the retainer because the rest of the school will tend to congregate around that fish and stay by the boat. And that means now other anglers can start uh, capturing other fish from that school. And then as we hook them, uh, we fight them as you know, short and, and as fast as possible to avoid any sort of exhaustion. Bring them to the boat, gently lift them in, de-hook them without touching them at all and, and place them in a holding tank in the back which is a one-ton tank. It's got continuous flowing seawater and it's actually being uh, gassed with oxygen that's going to help the animals recover from the exercise that you know they experience when they're hook and lining. Once we have what we need, then we're going to head, head west back to Miami and uh, place them in our bootstock tanks at the experimental hatchery at the University of Miami.